Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to remove the valve springs from a 4.6 two valve Mustang head. It's pretty much set up like most of your valve springs are. They've got these annoying little retainers that you have to pop off, whereas the older school designs will just have a little clip in there that you'll just slide right out. But basically all you're going to need here is I've got a 5 eighths socket and a left, oh, 3 quarters socket. A magnet, just something to kind of protect it. This is just some header wrap, and then a 7 inch C clamp here. So, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the magnet inside there of your 5A socket, and then on top of that, you've got your 3 quarter socket. And then from there, you want to slip your 3 quarter and 5 eighths sockets on top of each other like this. Put your clamp over like that. Then kind of hold it if you can with one hand. And then tighten it down. You kind of have to make sure these stay on top of each other because they like to slide off. And you keep cranking it until you can see that the spring is pretty well bottomed out. Shouldn't take too many turns at this point. And then so you can see here on the back, see I've got the header wrap sitting right there to kind of protect the valve. It's not necessary, but just kind of a kind of a nice little bit of extra. I don't like to uh, to have that ball end right on top of the valve. It kind of gouges it a little bit so it's just a little bit of protection. And then from here, set you guys back up. You loosen that clamp And there you have it. You see right here. Oh. You got those little retainer clips that popped right off of there. And then you've got your valve spring came right off. And that's pretty much all you gotta do. I mean I found this magnet just, it was something I had sitting around. Um, the size of these sockets, you can use bigger or smaller sockets depending what you have. But for me what worked best was the two, uh, like this, the two stacked on top of each other because I didn't have a clamp big enough to use, say, um, a deep well. This was about an inch too tall. And uh, the magnet hangs on to them once you push that spring all the way down in there. The magnet even though uh, it's pretty far away, the magnet's able to pull those retainers so then when the spring pops back up, pulls the retainers back off, and uh, there you have it. 